couple in Golden scammed out of nearly $140,000 through a sophisticated phishing scam. The question now, can Chase Bank help them recover their money? By the time a Jefferson County man realized that the Chase Bank fraud team that he was talking to was actually the scammers themselves, he was out more than $137,000. Yeah, problem solver investigative reporter Rob Lowe spoke to the FBI. The couple scammed and Chase Bank about a fraud so clever that it could happen to any of us. Yeah, $137,000 is a loss nobody can absorb. Chase Bank is still investigating to see if it can recover any of the funds, but that money is likely overseas. Scott and Kate Zoll want you to know what happened to them so that it doesn't happen to you. So there were 11 wire transfers in total, two on our personal accounts, nine on our business accounts. We lost close to $140,000. How devastating is that for you, Kate? Every day we just wake up and feel like we're living kind of a nightmare right now. What happened to Scott and Kate Zoll began with a text to Scott's phone, supposedly from Chase Alerts, asking, did you attempt to send a wire transfer for the amount of $4,500? At that point, before I did anything else, I reached out to my business partners and asked if they had initiated a wire. Uh, they had not, so I then called the bank branch to see if they could see any activity on my account. That was smart. Chase Bank immediately gave him the number to its fraud department. But what happened next was his big mistake. At that point, I acknowledged the, the text that came through said, no, we did not initiate this wire. Um, got a text back immediately saying somebody from the Chase fraud team will be in contact with you. Probably within 30 seconds, uh, I received a phone call from the exact number that the branch had just given me. What Scott never guessed is the call from Chase Alerts saying a representative will be contacting you shortly was actually the scammers who had spoofed the Chase fraud number, leaving Scott to think he was talking with Chase Bank. And at one point I even called the Chase line because the phone number dropped and I called the Chase fraud line. And I was frustrated with actual Chase because they weren't, uh, couldn't see the conversations that were happening. And within a minute, you know, the, that, the people that were scamming us actually called back and I'm like, great, these people know what they're talking about. I'm gonna go back to this call. Scott isn't sure how, but says the scammers already had his bank account number and knew how much money he had. All they needed from Scott was a one-time passcode that he did in fact receive via text from Real Chase, only to then unwittingly share it with the scammer who was pretending to be Chase Bank. That phone call would cost him $137,130. Just wake up and start all over again to try to accept that all our money's gone. Um, and I'm not hopeful at this point in the journey that we're gonna see any of it again. The most recent FBI stats show in 2022, 405 Colorado fishing victims lost nearly half a million dollars and 467 spoofing victims lost $2 million. The technology does exist that they can spoof phone numbers from anywhere in the world and make it look like it's a, you know, a chase fraud department. Brian Blosser is a special agent with the FBI who says phishing and spoofing scams are getting more sophisticated by the day. Be very leery of unsolicited text messages, phone calls, or a pop-up or an email that you've got a fraudulent charge in your account. Special Agent Blosser says once a person realizes they've been scammed, do exactly what the Zoles did. Contact your bank with a number you trust, either from your bank statement or the back of your credit card to initiate a wire recall and file a report with the FBI at ic3.gov. The best advice that I would relay would be, hey, take a second because a lot of the times the scammers are going to try to create the persona that there's an urgent need, you have to act now. If I would have just slowed down and looked at some of the other indicators, but. We're talking, you know, over $100,000, like you want to act fast or you think you need to. In a statement, Chase Bank told the problem solvers, these types of scams are heartbreaking. Beware of new contacts asking you for codes, access to your device, or to send them, yourself, or anyone else money to prevent fraud. Chase, other banks, law enforcement, and technology companies won't ask you to do this, but scammers will. Like cash, wires are final payments and are rarely successfully recalled one cent. I have to work 10 times harder than I was working, um, you know, to get to back, just back to where I was, not even ahead, just to get back to where we were. There is a special place in hell for the people that can do this to someone. For those of you wondering about FDIC insurance up to $250,000, that doesn't apply to scams. That only helps if your bank has gone out of business. 
The Zoles say they're frustrated with Chase Bank. It took 11 days for them to get a case manager, and that was only after the problem solvers called Chase. We have more tips on how to protect yourself at our website, kdbr.com. Rob Lowe, Fox 31.